Hey everybody, Sam again. Part 4 of this uh, sports tutorial. I'm going to dispense with the formalities of the beginning. Let's just get cracking. Um, we're almost done. Here's the other thing we got to do. Let's do this uh, cool little background that's behind it. Um, blank layer behind your shield, underneath. I'm going to put a brand new layer there. I'm going to call this plate because it's the plate. right? Underneath your shield layer, there. And I'm going to go to gradient. And I am going to pick sort of a black and white deal. Except I'm going to edit this a little bit. So um, let me get back to that. So G gets me the gradient tool. And then if I click on this guy right here, I get my gradient editor. All right. So it's black and white. And it's black, white, and black. I got three of them there. I'm going to click on this middle one. If you don't have a middle one, just click in the middle, and it'll put a brand new marker there. The top is for opacity. The bottom is for color. So I'm going to click on that white one, and I am going to pick a darker red, and I'm going to pick a red out of our project over here. Uh, that's a little bit too dark. Uh, maybe a little bit brighter. How about that? There we go. All right, so my gradient's all set up. Black, red, black. I'm going to click OK, and on that new layer I made, I'm going to click top left to bottom right, and what the hell? Oh, my opacity is, for some reason, my opacity is set to 30. Let's set it to 100. And there we go. Perfect. Awesome. Let's now do the text. If you uh, look at my uh, original one here, we have this cool fancy text thing. Forget the fire. Ignore that for now. I was... Uh, I was being full of myself, and forget that lens flare and all that garbage. Let's talk about the text right there. It's two full layers. It's a, it's a front text, and it's a back text, okay? So let's get it going here. I am going to use my text tool, T, and I am going to use Arial Block. That's a good font to go with. And I'm just going to use regular, and I'm going to type out the name in uppercase, Mon or Monarch. Okay, I'm going to free transform that and scale him up, holding my shift key so I can so it stays uniform and it's it really needs to be on top, doesn't it? I'm going to move that layer up on top of everything. There we go, so I can see it. Now it makes sense. All right, so I'm going to move him up in place and I'm going to free transform it again. I'm going to make him taller. Okay, hold my shift key and maybe scale him out just a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. And um, I like that. Let's keep that for now. Although, now that I'm looking at this, some of the fonting is a little weird. Let me just do a quick adjustment. I'm holding down my Alt key. I'm in the text tool. I'm holding down my Alt key and using the left and right arrows to adjust. That's too much. That's good. Let's go with that. Okay. Free transform again. Command T. And, bef and we are going to now right-click inside and use Skew. And when I do that, I'm going to hold down my Shift key again and click this middle guy. Click that little middle guy right there. And I'm going to hold my Shift key and drag up. Just like that. I'm going to bring him down a little bit to see where he's going. And then, while I'm still in Skew mode, I'm going to grab this middle guy here at the bottom. And I'm going to drag left to right a little bit so it still s stands vertical. All right. I like that a bunch. Let's keep that. Okay. We are now going to duplicate this layer. Command J. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's do another way. Let's put a blank layer underneath our text. So underneath that, underneath this text right here, I'm going to go to my my layer tool, click, and I'm going to drag it down, and I'm going to call this um, text outline. All right. And here's where it gets tricky. So go back to your text layer up there and hold down your, your command key next to your space bar and click this little picture right here and you will get marching ants around your text. Okay? So we're going to use that as a selection. Now go up to select and go to modify and go to expand and we're going to get this dialog box. And I'm going to use 20. And what this is going to do is expand your selection by 20 full pixels. There you go. Awesome. Okay, go back to that text outline layer that we just made, because we're going to fill that in, okay? And I'm going to pick my blue color, which is right there. And I am going to now fill underneath here with blue. 
So on that text outline layer, go to Edit, Fill, Fill with Foreground Color, because it's my foreground color now, and hit OK, and it's going to fill my text. That's pretty slick. Command D to deselect that. Not too bad, right? Okay, on our text outline layer, double click and bring up the layers palette or the layer style. And we're going to add a drop shadow. Okay, ooh, that one's pretty good already. Um, I'm going to reach in here and move it around a little bit though. If it, oh, that's why I got to have it selected. So I'm going to reach in and move it around just a little bit. I like that. That's pretty good. Another thing I'm going to do while I'm here adding that is I'm going to add a tiny little bevel at the very top of this. So I'm going to click Bevel Emboss, and you can already see it did it. It added that nice little white line there. Um, seven seems good. Maybe eight. I don't want to get too high. Eight is also a good number. There we go. And I get that little nice addition. Not too bad. I click OK. And the last thing I'm going to do is, you can see in my other one, I added a gradient to the text as well. And we can do that here as well. Let me turn that back. So if we go back to our text tool right there, oh, not too bad. If we go to our text tool, and uh, let's double click the layer. There we go. We'll add it this way. We'll bring up a layer, layer styles box and add gradient overlay and set it to... Um, what do we want to set it to? Let's opacity's up. I don't know. Something fancy? Eh, maybe not. We could probably just keep it this. Um, why are we in overlay mode? Do we need to be in normal mode? Ooh, that's fun. Actually, that's kind of cool. Um, let's do it in linear dodge. I don't know. What did we do it on the other one? Let's check it out. What did we do on that guy? Uh, Gradient overlay. I have it set to linear light. Oh, that makes sense. All right, so gradient back to gradient overlay. Linear light. This is a blend mode I hardly ever use. And maybe I turn this down just a little bit and adjust the angle so it's not so brazen. And uh, even if we wanted to, we could add a little drop shadow here so it kind of sits off the background text a little bit. Maybe pull it down just a little bit. So now it kind of has a three-dimensional feeling about it. And there we go. That's kind of cool. And uh, that's kind of our cool little sports logo. I'm not that excited about what is happening with this drop shadow behind everything. I'm going to turn on my drop. Oh, maybe because I don't have it turned on. That's why. So I do have a drop shadow turned on my uh, on my gray shield in the very back. And that's kind of adding to this effect. Not that guy. Don't do that. No. There you go. Back to gray. There we go. And uh, go back to drop shadow. And I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more. It'll help give it a little bit more space. And there you go, everybody. You know what sometimes I do, too. And you don't have to do this, but if you want to, I will... I will make a new blank layer at the very top and hold down my alt key and click on this this hamburger right here and click merge visible and what that's going to do is merge all the visible layers to one layer right there I'm going to drag that to the back the very very back scale it up like crazy now you don't have to do this this is sort of a style thing and you can see it back there Okay, and then I'm going to convert it to a smart layer. Right click, convert to smart layer. Maybe turn it down to 20%. And I am going to filter blur. I may use a motion blur. Let's see what a motion blur looks like. Um, Z, there we go. That's not too bad. And we get that cool little effect there. And so it kind of frames itself. All right, that is it. I'm going to hide that guy. That is it for the sports logo. See, it's not too bad. Pretty simple tutorial. A uh, lot of fun. And you can keep going. You can do a ton of things with this thing. In fact, if you look at my other one, I uh, I went a little bit nuts on mine. Put in some lens flares and some fire and all sorts of crap. So I got a little bit ridiculous with mine. 
So you can go crazy. There's a lot of room to move on this. All right, there you go. I'm done. Enjoy, and have a good day.